Hey everybody, blessings and welcome once again to For His Glory Couponing with a Purpose. Today I am sharing a few deals that I did at CVS, got some great buys and I'm excited to go over them with you. So let's get started. I picked up these CoverGirl eyeliners last night. I noticed that they were on promotion of when you buy two CoverGirl items, you will get $5 back. And if you bought three items, you would get $9 in extra bucks back. We have digital coupons as well as paper coupons from the 423 Smart Source and a $3 CRT on CoverGirl Cosmetics that everyone should have. These are the eyeliners that I use on the regular. So I picked up three at $6.79 for a total of $20.37. I used the $3 digital coupon for an eye product from the CVS app. Two of the $3 CoverGirl eye product paper coupons from the Smart Source. And then the $3 CRT came off as well. So that was a total of $12 in coupons, giving me a subtotal of $8.37. I used $8.37 exactly in extra bucks. That left me with an out-of-pocket of zero, and I got the $9 extra buck back. So that made this transaction free and a 63-cent moneymaker. And now the receipt. So you'll see CoverGirl, perfect point, three times, $6.79 each. Then the two paper coupons coming off first, $3 and $3. Then the CoverGirl digital coupon from the app of $3. Then the $3 CRT on CoverGirl Cosmetics for $3. And then the $5 in extra bucks I rolled, $2 in extra bucks, and $1.37 in extra bucks giving me a out of pocket of zero and then i got back the nine dollars in extra bucks my next transaction is from a youtube shorts that was posted by carla savings and i got excited because i tried all last week to get these toothpaste at Walgreens for the promotion that they had, as well as the Ibotta rebate, and I could not get it. No matter what store I went to, which was probably three or four, three for sure, but I think I even went to a fourth store and checked as I was driving by one, and just the product was not there to be able to do it. So I was excited to see that that was part of a promotion with CVS this week. And she got the Axe Body Wash. My store was completely out. So I had to go with these body sprays that were a little more expensive. But it still didn't um, work out too bad. I went ahead and picked up two of the Axe. They were $7.49. Buy one, get one 50% off and get $3 back in extra bucks. The two of them together was $11.23, one for $7.49, and the other for $3.74. We also have a digital coupon on the CVS app for $7.50 on the purchase of two, which is going to bring the cost down to $3.73. But we are going to get $3 back in extra bucks, which will make the both of them 73 cents. But remember, we're including this in a transaction with other items and rolling some extra bucks to pay for them as well. Then I picked up the Gillette razors. They are both $10.29. They are also buy one, get one half. Both of them come out to $15.43. So that's one at $10.29 and the other at $5.14. 
These are on a promotion that when you buy two, you will get $8 back in extra bucks. We also have a $3 digital coupon for the Venus Razor and a $3 digital coupon for the Gillette Razor. That's going to bring the price down to $9.43. And after getting the $8 extra buck back, that's going to make both of them $1.43 or $0.71 cents each. All right. So the total of the transaction as a whole was $40.65. Subtracting the $7.50 for the Axe, $3 for the Gillette, $3 for the Venus, then $3 for each of the Crests gives a subtotal of $21.15. I rolled the $9 in extra bucks from the eyeliner transaction to give me a new subtotal of $12.15. I did pay that with my PayPal debit card and I got back the $3 extra bucks for the Axe, $8 in extra bucks for the Razors, and then $4 in extra bucks for the Crest Toothpaste. I don't know if I mentioned the Ibotta rebates, we still have them. And that's $2 for the Crest toothpaste. And I have two, so that's $4 back. And then a 75 cent bonus for buying the two different kinds of the Crest toothpaste. So in total, I got $19.75 back in rewards. My out of pocket was actually $12.14 somewhere i don't know sometimes i give myself the penny sometimes i give them the penny but it was 21 14 minus my nine dollars in extra bucks for a subtotal of 12 14 but my out of pocket would be 21 14 because i still used extra bucks and the uh money that i paid on my card and i got back a total of $19.75, making this transaction $1.39. That's absolutely amazing. $40 and change worth of products for $1.39. And for my last transaction, I decided to do the spend 25, get $8 in extra bucks by picking up a Tide liquid on sale from $18.49 to $12.99. We have a $3 digital coupon on the app for that. And then I picked up the Tide Pods, also on sale for $12.99 from $16.99. That is a 25 count bin. And we have a $3 digital coupon on for the um and we have a $3 digital coupon on the app for that one as well. So the two of these total $25.98. That'll qualify me to get my $8 back in extra bucks. And then we have the two digital coupons for $3 each. So subtracting $6 makes them $19.98. I decided to roll my $15 in extra bucks from the previous transaction, giving me a subtotal of $4.98 plus tax. And I ended up getting back my $8 in extra bucks. So again, my subtotal was really $19.98 because of the extra bucks that I rolled. And then I will subtract the $8 that I got back in extra bucks, which brings it down to $11.98 divided by two, $5.99 a piece for some really great savings on these products. And here we have the receipt. So $12.99 for each one, $3 coming off for the liquid, $3 coming off for the pods. The extra bucks I used of $8, $4, and $3 with a subtotal of $4.98. And then getting back the $8 in extra bucks. I was able to get some pretty good deals today and I'm really happy about that. I'm glad that I also caught Carla's YouTube short and was able to do the deal. I did want to try those toothpaste, so that was nice to be able to try it at a much lesser cost, of course, right? That's how we do it. 
but I have had more of a focus lately of getting things that I need or things that the people around me need. I will still throw in an item if it's going to help lower my out of pocket, but I'm not as much as focused on getting the lowest amount possible by just picking up things because they're cheap. So sometimes my deals are gonna be a little more and I think today really went well. Um, like Saturday, I was really pleased with the transaction that I did at Dollar General. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but I paid less than $9 for a bunch of household products that I need and that my family needs. So that went over very well. Uh, again, it's always good to throw in those free items when we can, but sometimes I think that I have enough plugs and I know I'm still going to pick up some more. <laughs> well, guys, that's all that I have for this video. Thank you for taking the time to stop and watch. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful or helpful in any sort of way, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help me to continue to grow here on the YouTube platform. That being said, be blessed, and I'll catch you on the next one.